In this video, I'm going to review the chord progression on page 83. At the very bottom of page 83, they show you three chords, a C chord, an F chord, and a G7 chord. And just to review the fingerings, the C chord, we start on C, E, G, spaced out evenly in thirds. Your left hand fingering for this chord should always start on 5, 3, 1. Your right hand starts on 1, 3, 5. The next chord, we're moving to an F chord. Notice that the fingering is different. The right hand, you're going to slide your fingers up slightly, so the third finger is on F, the pinky is on A, C, F, A. But your left hand, the only finger that really moves is the thumb. You already have a second finger on the F. So when you put those together, check your fingers in the middle. Make sure it's two in the left hand and three in the right hand. And you go back to your C chord, reset. And now the G7 chord, in this case, look at my right hand first. You only need to move your thumb down to B. The top two notes, F and G, you already have two fingers there, so don't move the rest of your hand. Again, move your thumb down, your pinky in your left hand goes down to B. And same thing, you don't have to move these upper two fingers for the F and the G. And then you go back to the C chord. So again, here's the entire chord progression pattern. The C chord, the F chord, back to the C chord, the G7 chord, bottom notes go down by half step, and back to the C chord. If you look ahead at page 91, we're going to practice the same pattern, this chord progression, this order of chords in all different keys. Page 91 gives you the chords now in the key of G. So the key of C had no sharps, no flats. The key of G, however, if you remember from the scale, we do have one F sharp. If it helps, play through the scale first so you set that tonality in your ears. Um, in case you run across an F in these chords, then automatically they will be a sharp. And we'll see that in the case with one of these chords. So the first chord in the key of G, we're starting on G, B, D. 5, 3, 1 in the left hand, 1, 3, 5 in the right hand. The next chord, our C chord. Notice that in the right hand, we move up third finger to C, fifth finger to E. Thumb stays on G. But in the left hand, again, only your thumb needs to slide up for this chord. You already have your second finger on the C, so keep it there. This is your C chord. Back to the G chord. And now the next chord is called the D7 chord. There's an F sharp on the bottom, so if it helps, notice how I slid my hands up here so I can get my bottom fingers, my pinky and my thumb on the F sharp. And then I've already got fingers on the C and the D up top. So there it is for the left hand, 5, 2, 1, 1, 4, 5 for the right hand, and then back to the G chord. Okay, so as you start to work with these chord progressions, you might find yourself moving a little bit more around on the keyboards because everybody's hand's different. So whatever feels comfortable, um, make sure in general you're keeping your fingers curved, not flattening out. And if you have to awkwardly shift your, your wrists around, just think, well, maybe I can move up a little bit so it feels more comfortable as you're playing these chords. Again, here's the chord pattern on G, on page 91, starting on a G chord. And your next chord is a C chord. Back to a G chord. This is your D7 chord. And then back to your G chord. 